Ladies and gentlemen, the world is facing a technological revolution which will define every aspect of our lives. Our food consumption, the way we travel, the way we work, and the way we interact with each other are in the process of transition. One cannot overestimate the role of green transformation in determining whether or not humanity can continue to grow and thrive on this planet over the coming centuries. Our energy system is comprised of three forms of energy. Food, which keeps our, us alive. Transportation, which underlies global commerce. And last is electricity, without which no modern life is possible. Each one of those elements requires different energy inputs. Each is facing distinct challenges and solution, which science is called to address. Our food production must become more mechanized, more efficient in terms of the use of water, fertilizers, and seeds, and also more sustainable in terms of land use. Our transportation system today is 95% dependent on petroleum fuels. And this requires a shift of all our modes of transportation, cars, trucks, ships, and planes, to more sustainable uh, energy sources. Our electricity sector is more diversified in terms of energy sources and renewable energy is carving a bigger and bigger share of our energy pie. But if we, but if we are to increase the use of solar and wind, uh, we must solve the problem of intermittency. The sun doesn't shine 24 hours a day and the wind doesn't blow 24 hours a day. If renewable energy is to take off in a big way, we must find solution for electric, electricity storage and management. This requires science to come up with solutions to make it able to compete with uh, traditional sources in terms of cost and reliability. This includes the pursuit of advanced battery uh, chemistries, uh, new designs for fuel cells, uh, new and more efficient materials, and new recycling technologies. At the same time, we must use science to explore new non-traditional sources of energy so that future generations can also enjoy abundance of clean energy. So let's build our cities and communities in ways that make them more resilient. This means better home insulation and ventilation, establishing, establishing a regional squadron of air tankers to put out forest fires, better emergency and preparedness, all of this means that green transportation involves big solutions to big problems. And because these solutions apply to global problem, not a local one, they require scientific cooperation among nations, especially among the world's major economic and innovation hubs. But if humanity is to continue to thrive, we must build the foundation for a new energy economy, set ambitious goals for young scientists to pursue, and make sustainability, rather than the pursuit of wealth, the most cherished human achievement to which we can strive. It is science that we can rely on for extending our life on this planet, but scientists are not important from outer space. They must be nurtured, rewarded, and elevated as heroes of our society. It is them who will decide our future, and all of it starts with the basic topic of this conference, public scientific literacy. Thank you very much for your listening.